Well, we all know that the photons falling on our amorphous silicon solar cell produce a current flow. And the current flow uh, is not very much. It's maybe a couple milliamps. Now that couple milliamps is not enough to do useful work. I can hook this uh, uh, motor up to the solar cell directly and the motor is not going to move. Try it yourself. How do you get some work out of this? So this experiment, you're going to need to have your solar cell and a light source. You're going to need a couple of alligator clips. Uh, you're going to need your 1000 microfarad capacitor with the leads flared 90 degrees, as you can see right here. You'll need your DC motor out of the kit, and you'll need to have one of the little uh, lever arms plugged on the end so we can see the motor spin. Now, thin energy, how do we get more work out of it? Well, think of a hydro dam. The hydro dam is full of millions of tons of water that flow through the generators to produce electricity. A lot of work, but that water didn't spontaneously appear there. When the water fell on Earth, it was also very, very thin. The uh, mist from the rains would fall on the mountains, fill up the rivers, fill up the reservoir, and eventually dump out through the generator to produce uh, electricity. And that's exactly like what we're doing here. If you could imagine this little uh, solar cell right here as a reservoir, we could, uh, we could uh, spit a little bit of rain on it and mist the rain. And as the rain forms drops, the drops would fill into, fill into a container, and the container would fill up with water. And once it fills up, we can dump that container full of water onto a little water wheel to create some work. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do here. So here we see our little capacitor, 1000 microfarad capacitor. There's the negative side clearly marked with the white band. I'm going to hook up the uh, solar cell. And in a few moments, the solar cell will pass enough current into the capacitor that it will charge it up to around 5 volts. And once it's charged, we'll hook it up to the motor, and the motor is going to spin for, uh, for a moment until the capacitor is discharged. And then we're going to repeat the process. So we'll charge up the capacitor, and then dump it across the motor. And charge up the capacitor. And dump it across the motor. And this is exactly what we're doing in the little solar engine that's inside your sunflower or your solar fly. You can see right here, the capacitor is gathering energy from the, from the solar cell. And when it gets enough energy, it dumps it across the motor and the motor spins. And the more energy it has, the harder it's going to spin. And the quicker it's going to spin, the quicker it's going to charge up. So that's the principle of the little solar engine that's used in your, in your kit.